Welcome to Cadence Point YC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to present a new kind of patch that you can create in Pointwise, and it's called Tangency Patch. To illustrate this new feature, I have in front of you the geometry of a drone, and if you pay close attention, you can see that we have a hole right here that we would like to cover. Actually, I have half a hole in there because I have already covered uh, half of this hole with a regular Coons patch. Now, a regular Coons patch is, is a nice tool to use. It's going to allow you to cover holes and things like that. However, you can see that one of the limitations is that a Coons patch is not going to use the tangency information of the surrounding surfaces. It's just going to use the boundaries. The result is that you're going to get a surface that is going to cover a hole that you have to cover. However, is going to be kind of flat, as you can see right there on those ISO lines. So let me show you another way to actually do this. We're going to go to Create, Patch, and you can see right there, there's a new element on the table called Tangency Patches, and it's color-coded in green. And there's also down here a new checkbox that will allow you to decide whether you want to use boundary tangency or not. In my case, I'm going to leave that on because I do want tangency. And I'm going to select the boundaries of the surface that I would like to create. You can see right there that you have small arrows that are going to be indicating which surfaces are we going to use to compute tangency. In this case, we're going to use the tangency of the red surface right there, which is the Kunz patch, and also we're going to use the tangency of this gray surface over here. So let me go ahead and generate the surface. As you can see, the little preview is also rendered in green to follow with the same color theme that we have for tangency patches. I'm going to hit OK. And now that my surface has been generated, I'm going to change the way it's rendered so we can actually see a little bit better what is going on. Let me change the rendering right here. And as you can see right over there, I think the difference is very clear. On the left, you have that red Coons patch and you can see the ice lines being kind of like flat, straight. And on the right, you have that new pink surfaces that is using tangency of the surrounding surfaces. And you can see, of course, that you have that nice curvature that we are looking for. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.